Hi friends, welcome back to another weekly energy video. It is for the week of... Da -da 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 -da. Let's see if I can just remember. February 27th through March something. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Here we go. It's March 5th, obviously. Okay, so how did this weekend go? Because this weekend the sun was sextile, the north node, which is... Uh, this lucky feeling of finding your calling or being at the right place at the right time. This was about befriending your ego and doing the work. Did you do that? Did it feel that way? I think it, I think it did for me slightly. Um, March 1st, the moon, st we start off March with the moon in Cancer. So we're influenced by our emotions and easily affected by the environment. So think about what's happening for you this week and what might be affecting you this week. Um, I still have not put out the uh, monthly report for the whole year, but I have it. I've been looking at it, and it's kind of, the information is injected into all the readings here. Uh, but since we are moving into a new month this week, uh, I'm going to go ahead and read um, March's, the, the Illuminated Love Oracle card for the month of March. It is called, I Am Brand New. It says, be moved within nothingness. Let go of old stories and old identities that have limited your brilliance. Courageously empower your greatness. Be made anew in every given moment. With every breath I am brand new. I experience the fullness that I am. And so to recap, quarter one was all about self-discovery. You are not who you thought you were, and this is great news. See yourself as new in each moment as you encounter the miraculous and the unexpected. You are learning more about your soul's purpose and how to experience life in a new way. Think about the last three months. Well, two months, right? We're starting March now. And so you can uh, maybe meditate on the concept of I am brand new and I am new or a, uh, the concept of a beginner's mind. We know the beginner's mind is when we look at something um, without any prejudgments or conditions. So March, I am brand new. Mm -hmm. And so if there's a, an illumination uh, this week around that theme, just know that the moon is starting in <laughs> this week. The moon is in Cancer um, midweek, and there might be some... Um, sensitivities right we're also in Pisces season we're deep in our feels people do you feel it it can't just be me that's for sure um, Mercury moves into Pisces as well so now we're uh, Mercury is a planet of communication and first impressions Pisces is deep, deeply sensitive so again we see another theme of like we may come across things that strike us and cause us to be moved deeply and sometimes we may not know why this may be a, a moment for that and it and as it moves into Pisces it triggers Saturn and in 12 degrees Aries so you gonna do anything about it Saturn is the planet of limitations but in Aries it almost feels like a breakthrough a breakthrough the same day Venus is exact conjunct with Jupiter. You've been seeing it in the sky. You've been seeing people talk about this Venus-Jupiter conjunct. That's all happening at the same time there, around the same. And I do want to, I keep forgetting to say this, but as I talk to people in the world, IRL, it comes out a lot, so I should preface, pre preface, 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 that... Just because I say something happens on a specific day, it doesn't mean that it's going to happen that day for you or that that's the only day that is significant. Some transits, the ener their energies last um, depending on how wide of an orb um, is calculated, usually one degree or two degrees. It can last three days a week can last two weeks like how shadow periods before and after retrogrades so just remember that it doesn't have to happen for you this week you might get information this week that you resonate with because you experienced it last week you might receive information this week that impacts you next week 
that arms you for what's coming. Okay, now that we got that out of the way. Anyways, uh, the, enter the other themes for this week are polite company. Abundance is a mindset. Um, the wounded divine feminine. All right, so let's look, let's look out for the feminine this week. Um, we have themes of love worthiness, low esteem, um, generous with others, but harsh on self. That is the wounded divine feminine. Generous with others and harsh on self. Uh, generally, we have generosity, good manners, expecting the same of others. Conservative, practical, systemic, persistent. Difficulty with, express, with, with expression or studying. Any or all of those things, right? Any or all of those things, now or in the future. Or in the past. All right. Okay, some cards already wanted to be flipping out. <clears throat> Let's get some messages for this week from the tarot. Yeah, they they just want to be flipping. Okay, so the two cards that came out as our theme are the Page of Swords and the Seven of Swords. This is um, receiving a download or some information about how you'd like to do things differently, basically. Receiving a download or a message around wanting to do things differently. Seven of Swords in its evolved state and it, in its evolved energy is sort of like a Robin Hood. It's redistribution of wealth. It's a desire for reform. Okay. We have the okay, the six of cups and the eight of pentacles. The emperor. Strength. The high priestess. Ten of pentacles. Ten of wands. Woo! Two more, please. Just two more. Page of Cups. Oh my goodness. And the Ten of Swords. We have three tens on the table. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Something is done? Is it done done? <clears throat> That's what I would like to know. My goodness. Oh, sorry, it's not the Ten of Swords, it's the Nine of Swords. But still, if the Nine of Swords is here, you know that the Ten is coming. The Nine of Swords in the outcome position means that we are definitely feeling sensitive. Um, the Nine of Swords comes um, at the point where you are aware of your ego, you are aware of your own flaws, I'll say your own shadow, your own toxic traits. And I'm saying, I'm not saying you are a toxic person, but just that we all from time to time have things about ourselves that we are not proud of, things, patterns that we're trying to break and overcome. So the Nine of Swords is that painful awareness of I know that I would like to do things differently. I know that I would like to change. Uh, we are not alone in this desire. Absolutely not. Uh, this may be a deeply personal thing for you, um, but still, you are not alone. Okay. I definitely see something here about wanting to uh, take initiative or take control um, of a situation that feels like it doesn't belong to you or it feels like it's not serving you it doesn't really like, sort of like belong in your general vicinity or sphere anymore um, and I get that because it's maybe causing you to feel disconnected from yourself disconnected from your intuition and that's how you know that it's not working it's because it's taking you further away it feels more like a distraction and maybe it fills you with doubt more than um, filling you with um, uh, strength. We well, do see strength here, but it's in the reverse, and it sort of is pointing towards this Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. For some of you, I don't know how many of you, but I am receiving a lot of sort of like 
past energy, young energy. So this might be something that you're putting away or putting to bed that is from your past. Uh, maybe it's a childhood wound. In fact, we do have a Chiron transit this week. One of the transits I described but did not mention was a Venus conjunct Chiron. And that's coming around the same time, right? Again, Venus is conjunct Jupiter. So this to me feels really, really lucky in the way that we may have some luck relating to seeing our wounds uh, from a new perspective um, and therefore having the desire to overcome, the desire to change something and the willingness to put down some of the wands. The Ten of Wands is showing up here as, I've taken all that I can bear, and I think I'm done. I think I'd like to put some things away, or maybe I'd like to delegate some of these things. Mm -hmm. The Page of Cups is here, and that's the other, um, the, the Page of Cups and the Six of Cups are two very sort of youthful energy. By the way, there's two pages, right? Because the Page of Swords came out at the beginning as well. Two tens, two pages. I see. Okay, cool. So, I mean, th those are like the cards on the precipice of, of cycles because the pages are kind of like um, an ace in a sense. Um, but it's like we've gotten going. So, it could, f this, this really resonates with the March message of I am brand new, right? A lot of things will feel like they're ending or beginning. They're ending, things are ending and beginning at the same time. And you, my friend, if this resonates for you, are navigating by way of what makes you feel connected and what removes your doubt. What makes you feel empowered? The emperor, that's Aries. Saturn is in Aries. If, if I wrote that correctly, then that's true. Saturn... Oh, wait a minute. Or did I mean to write Jupiter? Right, Jupiter is in Aries. My bad. Is that correct? I gotta say, sometimes my notes are a little... Mm, I write a lot. I write a lot. And sometimes I confuse myself. Right, because Saturn is supposed to be in um, Aquarius. Yeah, Jupiter's in Aries. I know that. I'm sorry for the confusion. Um, so Mercury moves into Pisces and triggers Saturn at 12 degrees. But Venus, in, Venus is conjunct Jupiter in Aries. And Venus is in Pisces and moves into Aries. Or did already move into Aries. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It did move into Aries. You know when? Last week. And that's why they're in conjunct. Okay, you see my mind is sort of not working. I'm currently experiencing the symptoms of the week that are the difficulty with studying. <laughs> difficulty with expression or studying, obviously. But I am persistent. Okay. <laughs> So what else can I say about this? Um, we, I do see the Eight of Pentacles here. This has been a trending card of this time, and so has the Page of Cups. In fact, so is the High Priestess in reverse. And so what's interesting to me about the High Priestess in reverse is that we are um, doing the work, but it's like we're getting lost in those Neptunian waters of a Pisces season. Absolutely. And it's not just Pisces season um, that is causing this. Let me go to some of my other notes. So this month Pluto is moving into Aquarius. It's coming out of Capricorn, moving into Aquarius. Saturn moves into Pisces next week. That's also, I think, contributing to that.
Yeah, Saturn moving into Pisces is fantasy versus reality and weaknesses as strengths. Whoa. Pluto moving into Aquarius is about self-liberation, questioning authority, movement toward systemic equality. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think uh, you've got a few good themes here to think about um, or even to meditate on if any of those things are really striking you. If it feels that you are um, overwhelmed by the amount of thoughts or dreams or sort of nostalgia factors coming in at this moment, these downloads, um, I encourage you to assess what is around you that has been distracting, uh, what is around you that doesn't seem to be working, what have you been investing your time into and creating in your life, um, or what have you been investing your time into that has created distractions in your life, because sometimes you can be the author of your own chaos, and so... Mm, this is why maybe the Nine of Swords is out, because <laughs> we can come to terms with that which we have created, if we create our own issues or our own problems. Um, I don't mean to say that negative things that happen to us are our own fault. I'm saying sometimes, if you look critically at a situation, you can see how you've contributed to it. What have you done or did not do? What have you done or did not do? Okay. I'm going to leave it there. I don't want these videos to be too long. Thanks so much for joining me again. This will be my last video from Jamaica, and then I'm going home uh, back to Chicago, uh, where uh, next week we'll meet in my blue room. Okay, thanks so much, you guys, for watching. Uh, please do me a favor. Give this video a like, subscribe, share it with somebody you know. Uh, it helps the channel more than you know, okay? I really do appreciate it. And um, uh, yeah, have a great day, y'all. Have a great week.